I'm going to show you how to make your own starfish. Half cup of flour, half cup of salt, and a half cup of water, warm water, and you're going to mix that well together with a spoon. And next you're going to take your cookie cutter. You're going to use your rolling pin to roll out your shapes. You want to make sure that you put flour on. I didn't do that in my video, so um, you want to make sure you do that so shapes doesn't get messed up like mine did in this video. And continue to process making shapes. Keep rolling it out if you need to. Note to always put a little bit of flour on a pan so it helps not stick to the pan. After you've made your shapes, put it in the oven for about two hours. After it's done, let it cool off a little bit and you can start painting on your acrylic paint. Give each one about two coats of paint, let about 15 minutes in between dry. Then you can add your little pin dots for the starfish. Let another 20 minutes for that to dry. Then you can put on your uh, extreme glitter acrylic paint. Let that dry for about another five minutes or so. You want about two coats of varnish for each one of them. You might want to let them sit for at least a, a day or so before between each set of varnish so that it cures. But uh, the end result is I put, ended up putting faces on them. Um, you could glue and as you can see at the very end, the end result is that they're very shiny, nice little shiny, a little misshaped, you know, a face only a mother could love, I guess. Paper clips onto the ends. If you wanted to hang them up on something, uh, you could also put the paper clips in, uh, in your starfish before you can even bake them. It's all right if you put them in the oven the way they are, as long as you don't touch them by hand right after you pull them out of the oven. But yeah, you should try it yourself. It's fun. Um, because I had forgotten to put flour on my cookie cutter, which is why the shapes are a little bit messed up. There's only one that turned out decent, and that was the orange one.